Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, Tom Holland here. I am at the Ace Seattle Comic Con, having a great time, meeting everyone, it's going really well. Um, I wanted to apologize because there's no real revelations coming out this weekend about Spider-Man 2. I don't know much about it. Um, I'm a little confused because I died, so I don't really know how it all comes into play, but I do know is I got the new script, I'm super excited to read it, and it's gonna be great. So yeah, Spider-Man 2, let's do this. Hey guys, what's happening? So Tom Holland's gotta be, well him and Mark Ruffalo have gotta be like the biggest leakers of the MCU. Like, <laughs> to two of them, man, like they can't hold water. And so Tom Holland just leaked the new title for Spider-Man 2, Far From Home. Yup, it is going to be Spider-Man FFH, Far From Home. And this is pretty wild because my guess was gonna be Spider-Man FML and I'll let you guys fill in those letters. And that was my guess pretty much cause you guys already know he died in Infinity War. But it's pretty obvious that characters like him, the Guardians of the Galaxy, especially Black Panther are all gonna be coming back. Even though the directors have said that their deaths were permanent, which is true in a sense because their deaths are permanent in that reality. But Evangeline Lilly already told us that Avengers 4 is gonna be going into different realities. And we all know once you go back in time and change the timeline from that point forward you have created a new reality and it's very likely we'll get a taste of how that comes about in a couple weeks when we get to see Ant-Man and the Wasp if not during the course of the film then more likely during one of the two post credit scenes but as you guys know every once in a while I like to drop these spills and kind of drop my two cents on what I think about it and even though we haven't gotten any further information about Spider-Man 2 I would like to believe that that title Far From Home it speaks more towards where they're going with his character from Spider-Man 2 going forward. Because up until this point, from Civil War all the way through Spider-Man Homecoming, it's like we've always had this Peter Parker who looked up to Tony Stark, and he's always had Tony there to pick up the slack and to more or less lead the way for him. But I believe with a title like Spider-Man Far From Home, we're gonna see Spider-Man have to deal with something or some type of threat without Tony Stark. Because if I remember correctly, Spider-Man Far From Home comes out July of 2019, like one month right after Avengers 4. And because of that, this title may even be an Avengers 4 spoiler. Because if my assumption is correct, Spider-Man Far From Home could possibly even be Spider-Man dealing with the loss of Tony Stark and soon after following in his footsteps with Parker Industries, which could possibly even lead into a superior Spider-Man storyline. But let's not get ahead of ourselves in that sense. But in my past theory videos speaking on Avengers 4 and After Infinity, I've talked about times in the comics where Tony Stark actually stepped in as director of S.H.I.E.L.D. And I think I go the most in depth about it in the recent video where I broke down how the Russo brothers have already started making Bucky the next Captain America. Perhaps not intentionally, but a lot of the scenes from Captain America Winter Soldier into Captain America Civil War look a lot like the transition panels from those comics. And like I said, this may be intentional, it may not, but the coincidence between the panels and the actual films is uncanny. And on top of that, we've heard in the interviews with the Russo brothers that they do have an arc that they are completing with Captain America in Avengers 4 and also with Bucky Barnes from Winter Soldier to Avengers 4. But as far as Spider-Man with this new title, Far From Home, I do believe it's going to be heavily character focused on Spider-Man figuring it out without the help of Tony Stark. And as far as my theories go, I don't want Tony to die in Avengers 4. Even though Robert Downey Jr. isn't contractually obligated to do any more films, I would much rather the Tony Stark character stay alive and step in as the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. so he has that very big, very emotional moment when he hands Bucky Barnes, the person who killed his parents, Captain America S.H.I.E.L.D. Like that will be a super emotional moment. But yeah, definitely when I hear this title, Spider-Man Far From Home, it puts me in the mind state of Spider-Man figuring out what he's going to do after the events of Avengers 4. Because by that time, presuming it's five years in the future for Avengers 4, after everything is fixed and after everybody returns back to reality that will be the new reality moving forward, a lot of things will be different and Spider-Man's film will be the first film to step into that. But like I said, I see this on IG and I just want to share my thoughts with you guys. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And I'm going to be in the comments section all day today. So don't worry if you missed that first hour. But be sure to subscribe so you can catch the spills every week. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Alright, later.